Hey there, either Hello Fire Familia, and welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to be reacting to The Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 8, Rex Igneous. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm gonna finally see the big boy. I think it's a boy. <laughs> big. Never mind. God, I love, you know, I love the background art in this series. It's like watercolor. Is this telling a story of the murals? Is this, is this Rex's story that I'm guessing that looks like humans bringing him gold? So he's, is he going to be the more traditional, like what we think of with dragons with the whole greed and, you know, kind of like smog? He's probably not that scary. <laughs> uh, he's probably gonna be scarier. Zim, you really should have told me earlier. Don't tell me he has to go to use the restroom or something like that. What's going on? So it turns out there was a reason Zubaya wanted Zim to stay home. <sighs> Does Rex hate Zubaya? Like, did he not agree with their way of th doing things? Rex Igneous and Zim's dad? They were kind of old rivals. They really, uh. really, really did not like each other. Really, really, really did not like each other or hate each other? Well, we need Rex in a good mood. Hmm. So stay out. Can't just stuff you and Ezrin's bag anymore, can we, Zim? Oh. Renan Gonna need a really big a bag. disguise spell to hide us in a pinch. Did he ever teach you? Could you do it? Couldn't you just leave Zim in this hallway? Like, keep him out of the room? Never felt farther from the moon than right now. Yeah, being underground. Would this help you feel a bit moonier? Moonier. Oh, okay. Turns him into a dog. I mean, it would be fitting with the noises he makes. Mystica Canis. I forget that they have to break the gems or crystals for it to work. And you're gonna be a wolf. I mean, I did say dog, so wolf. Zim, why do you almost look kind of feminine as a wolf? I mean, you're cool looking. <laughs> Zappy dog. dog. You can name him Sparky. Come on, you two. <laughs> Look at the smile on Cow's face. Wait, Stella. Wait, Stella's face. <laughs> Stella is us. She's uh, she's us Raylum shippers. She's like, mm, yeah, yeah, I can see what you're doing. <laughs> as long as Rex Igneous likes your gift, we might live through this. Might. Uh, gift. Well, gee, I wonder why if that, I mean, with the mural of them leaving him gold and stuff, except that was like chest full of gold. So, um, what would be a gift for him that's worthy enough? Mm. Are we going to give him Ezrin's crown? <laughs> yes, this is Aegis. I love these. Whatever these are, the Chimera, uh, Manticore, I don't know what they are, but they're cool. Off to a romantic picnic in broad daylight. You're assuming. What does that say to help people living in tents? Have you That's your assuming? These things take time. We what is your guys' plan for taking action against their what? A coup? Throwing her out? Voting her out? Don't have time. I don't think he'd go as far as hurting his sister. I think it's more overthrowing her. Well, that's very yep. magnificent. This <laughs> is definitely a dragon's lair. Mm hmm. Sure, but where's the dragon? He even has a frickin' sauna. <laughs> He's got his own steam bath. I'm not gonna lie, that's not a lot of gold considering, like, he seems like the kind of dragon would want a lot. Just that front entrance area having gold doesn't seem like very much. Was a tragic chapter in our empire's history. And one you haven't let go, huh? Are you gonna cut your hand? Could demand a duel of blood and ash. Are you gonna have a duel with your sister? You intend to challenge the queen? It's the only way. 
Man, you really are old fashioned. <laughs> Jeez. And like this couldn't possibly send things into more chaos. Oh, real. Okay. Knock, knock. Anyone home? Hello. He's AFC away from cave. That looks like a not very comfortable place to sleep in. Like, considering how big this guy is, unless he sleeps, like, down below. I don't know, this doesn't seem like a very comfy cave. Ugh, well, sorry, the end of the world. Is he under the water? Didn't fit neatly into your busy schedule, right? He's in the water, isn't he? That's a deep pool, then. Oh, what's he look like? Oh, hello. Now, sir, don't step on Rayla. Oh, you're definitely an earth fire dragon. I mean, okay, no, you'd either have to be earth or sun. You definitely seem more, I don't know, you got a lot of lava around you, so. Never mind. What am I saying? They're literally with the earth blood elves, so. Uh, oh, shaker of soil and dirt. Oh, interesting. So he's not a, uh, he's a wyvern style dragon with, the, right? Wyverns are the ones that have like regular arms with wings on them instead of it being the full on wings. <laughs> What's your voice like? Uh, I am Rayla of the Silver Grove, and I offer you my butterfly blood. I was about to say, she couldn't give him her knives? He literally, you could have been quiet and then wait to see if he accepts just seeing you. And then if he doesn't, if he's not happy, then do that. These blades are all I have to remember them by. Is she trying to tell the sob story to make, see if he won't take them because he feels bad? Or is she just trying to hone in how much they mean to her so then he, it shows him how much, like, they're very special, not just blades. What's your voice? What's your voice? I want to hear your voice. Come on. Thank you. Come for her. Yes, uh, uh, I too. <laughs> he looks at like Callum like, well, what do you have? <laughs> what do you, what do you, you can't give him much, can you? You have like, the only thing I could think of would be the staff or the cube. And he, I don't think you can give either of those. It's, uh, You're not going to get the staff, are you? I offer this staff. Uh, it was given to me. So now, uh, I entrust it to you. Uh. Please tell me Rex gives it back to them. Oh, no. Why do I feel like I called it? Why do I feel like Edwin is going to give the crown to Rex? It's the crown. It's going to be the crown. King Ezrin of Catalis. As my gift, I offer you my crown. These are pretty major things, hello? It ha I'm not gonna lie. If Rex just steps on this stuff and crushes it, I'm gonna be torn, be I'm gonna be torn between crying and laughing. <sighs> Alrighty, your voice is not what I expected. <laughs> Well, he's not what I, he's kind of like half what I expected and half not. Gee, I wonder why Zim's father didn't agree with this guy. How can I give them hope when I have been filled with doubt? By your brother? You and I, we could leave. We could go to Uh, I don't think that's going to be very good for your people if you, or a good impression if you leave them. Oh. At least Colleen would leave the people with some sense of certainty. <coughs> Holy Lord. Excuse me. I think it's the first time I've ever sneezed on stream. <laughs> or <laughs> on stream in <laughs> a reaction. She's going to say, don't run away. Follow your heart. What life do I want? Oh. Every finely crafted weapon loses its shine. I was going to say, is he going to be like, none of this really means anything in the long run? You will run, I will chase, you will die. 
Hey, hey, hey now! <clears throat> Listen, Rexy boy. All my favorite gifts were surprises. Things I didn't even know I wanted. That's the one thing you haven't had in forever. A surprise. I, you know what? I was about to say, I swear to God, if it was a freaking, uh, what is it? The tart? <laughs> Something new. Is it a tart? Oh my God, I was... <laughs> Nah, he's gonna love it. Just watch. I can feel it. He's gonna love it because everyone brings him like gold and like again artifacts and everything, but nobody's brought him something that just like food just tastes good. <laughs> Rayla's face is like. <laughs> no, I'll try your tart. Little tiny tart to this big ass dragon. That's like if somebody gave like a crumb. Oh my god, but watch it be the best tasting crumb ever. Just fuck it in, throw it in there. Flaky, but firm. The way he's describing it. Okay, Chef Rexy. Is a worthy gift. <laughs> Leave it to us. <laughs> One question. One question. Really, they surprise you and knock you off your socks or scales, and you give them one? Oh, yes, provided the answer to your question would not endanger the entire world. I mean, he's at least not wrong. <laughs> That's good to know that if anyone else had tried, like, let's say, uh, um, let's say Claudia and them gotten he had gotten here and given him the right gift, they wouldn't have been able to get the answer. Goodbye. You might want to have also let him know that there's another group trying to unlock, like, he's trying to escape and he's getting, like, he's succeeding so far. We were sent by the Dragon Queen herself. Uh. And she needs your help. He doesn't like them. If she needs help, why not call on her great and powerful Avizandum to he doesn't know that Hammerzandum's dead. I would think that kind of news would have spread. Stomping on ants and calling himself a conqueror. Uh oh, Zim, Zim. Everything. And it'll get him killed one day, but he'll love that too. Oh, Abizandum, the great martyred hero of Zadia. Oh. This is Azamondius, son of Abizandum. The Dragon Prince. So interesting. So Rex didn't hate Avizandium because of like jealousy or anything like that. He just felt that I guess Avizandium wanted to pick fights with humans. It was kind of toying with them, and would, it would get cause problems later on. What life do I want? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Both? There's only one thing I really know. Amaya. I love you. I want to marry you. I want a life with you. But. And looks all your deals the same. You cannot have your cake and eat it too. It, isn't that a human saying? <laughs> Just have two cakes. I mean, she's not wrong either. <laughs> it's true. And it's like, you can't have your cake and eat it too. It's like, but what if you have two cakes? So you can have a cake left over and eat the other one. That isn't at all what the saying means. Break the rules a bit. Wait, listen to me. Might want to mention I have a is dead. <laughs> Stella, you say fate. You might want to just spit out now that Avizandium's dead, please. Avizandium is dead. Avizandium is dead. Were they both How friends? Did this happen? Your father was my greatest rival, but before that, ages ago, he was my greatest friend. He was my friend, little one. I am terribly sorry. You know what Rex kind of reminds me of? He kind of... This is probably dating me. Uh, he reminds me of that... I think it was the Ankylosaurus or something like that from Land Before Time. 
that spoke to Littlefoot after his mother died. And he came across at first as very gruff and like, what do you want? But then when he, as soon as he found out that Littlefoot had lost his mom, his voice was still gruff, but it softened. And it reminds me of Rex here with the, I'm sorry, little one. Like, it's a rough exterior, which actually really matches with him being an earth dragon. But then it's like a soft exterior. Like, he softens up once he hears that his dad, uh, Zim's dad's dead. So, I like that. I like that. Okay, I like Rex. <laughs> Lore? I don't know. All that and you don't know? I mean, okay, I get it. You're like putting out in the facade that you know, so then that way if somebody kills you or like tries to torture you to get the answer, you don't actually know. But really, come on. Who knows then? She will not fight. Janai never wanted to be queen. Uh, yep, he he thinks he does not truly really know his sister because he's not, tr like, really having a talk with her. It's mainly his viewpoints and his opinions, and he does really, like, he hasn't really, like, asked her and stuff, like, have you truly wanted to be queen? Stuff, like, what Amaya is asking her. So he's going on assumptions. <laughs> he's gonna be so wrong. Are you certain she will step aside? Who knows my sister better than I do? I could think of someone that whose name starts with an A and ends with an A. Where strength truly lies. Love. We change the course of history. Mm-hmm. That's what you think. Then you have to know where he is. And yet, I do not. Does he know the person or dragon or creature that knows where he is then? Wait, it's a riddle. Having knowledge doesn't mean knowing knowledge. Ugh, I hate this. <laughs> I don't blame you, Rila. No, it's simple. <clears throat> he possesses the knowledge. So could he have the whereabouts of the place, but he doesn't know it himself? Like it's the memories, but you don't really recall the memories? Very clever young human. Yeah. You always were a very uh. clever human. Are you really gonna? <laughs> yeah, you're forgetting your things. Um, but are you really gonna pick a fight against a arch dragon? I had to remember for a moment. Oh, look, Terry's best stream. Are you gonna put her? All right, what of Ocarina of Time is this? Are you gonna put them all to sleep? I might want to cover your ears. Never mind, this doesn't work. But how is she gonna get the... But wait, if the map is... Does he have a literal map? Okay, wait. I thought at first maybe he had the map in his head. But I guess it means that he has a literal map, but he's just never looked at it. So he doesn't know where um, Erebos is, but he just has the map to where Erebos is. I'm guessing. Because that's the only reason why I could see Claudia putting him to sleep. Because if it's in his head, then how are you going to get it out unless you do like a lobotomy or something like that? Or pick through his head. Amaya with the two cakes. Right? That's Amaya, right? Yeah, that's Amaya. <laughs> really? Rex with the birthday hat? Or party hat? The uh, ocarina. The gifts. The blood duel? I forgot what it's called. All I could think of actually when I, when I think of blood duel, I think of Agni Kai from uh, uh from Avatar Last Hairbender. <laughs> Aww, it's the two. I don't still don't know what they are, but some the lion chimera things. They're so cute. They're so cute! <laughs> Not gonna lie, you know what? I was gonna say I want plushies of them, but I want the plushies of like a lot of creatures from this series. All right, well, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. <clears throat> All right, so my thoughts for this episode. Um, overall, a good episode. Finally, get to see what Rex looks like in his uh his character. Um, definitely like him so far. I've liked the only one I haven't liked is literally um what's his name um. <sighs> We got Rex Igneous, you got Zubea. 
Um, and then you had, oh, what is this thing? Oh, I'm blanking on it. The one that was like the really bitter and um, was, you know, gonna attack the people and the dark mage protected them from him. Um, soul, 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 soul regum? I think it was Soul Regum. Um, yeah, Soul Regum's the only one I'm like, eh, like, he's cool. He's a cool design and stuff, but I don't like his character, like, personality. Um, whereas Rex, again, is, like, that gruff, tough exterior, but then it's actually, like, has a softer inside. Um, Azimonium, um, or Zim's dad. Uh, we didn't really get to see enough of him to really get to know his character. Uh, but from what Rex said, it sounds like um, Zim's dad would pick fights with humans and kind of, like, flaunt his strength around. And it, you know, got him bit in the butt. So I wonder if he was truly like that or if that's just Rex's viewpoint of him. I mean, for Rex not even to know that he was dead and it's been a good, what, you know, at least 10 years, 15 years since then. And he still, he never found out that Zim's dad was dead. Um, so he may have gotten stuff wrong about Zim's dad as well. So, um, yeah, overall a good episode. Um, found out, got, uh, got to see Rax. He got to see, got a little bit of, uh, I think it's Ezran's ancestor. Um, the one that talked to them originally and found out about, um, Erevos' uh, plan. Um, but now... Claudia and then most likely are going to get the map. So it's going to probably be a race to following after them. Or tracking them down. Or getting the map back or something. I don't know. Um, but it's interesting that it's just Claudia. And there's no Viren, Terry, or um, Soren. So, and what happened to Soren? I'm going to guess maybe they're keeping eye Terry and Viren are keeping an eye on Soren. Um, <coughs> um, I think that's everything in the episode. Oh, also... Getting to see that uh, uh, Callum and Rayla are kind of opening back up with each other. You can see they're kind of like, or at least Rayla was the one reaching out. Callum was the one that was closed off. So Callum, you can see, is opening up back, opening back up. So hopefully by the end of the season, they'll be kind of patched up or have a talk or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, uh, plot was uh, good for this episode. Characters, animation, music was all good. Um... It's kind of cool to see the Oc an ocarina being used as well. You don't really see that in shows except for, like, Zelda. <laughs> Literally. Um, but, yeah. Uh, overall, enjoyed the episode. But those are my thoughts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, after night, and keep ring bright. See ya!